And look at that cheek. Uh, oh. Welcome back to watching Nelly doing things. I am back to talk about some new makeup. Yes, oh yes. So y'all probably already heard about the new Juvia's Place palettes, or actually the previously new palettes, because she came out with some more, and I'm gonna grab those two, y'all. But the ones we're gonna be talking about today are the Juvia's I Live I Love set, and then the I Live I Love Ice set. We do have these two today to talk about, and I'm also having a palette battle. So we're gonna see which palette is the best out of the two guys. But before I jump all the way into these, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, which is Nelly doing things. And as well, don't forget to leave a comment below. And on top of that, guys, don't forget to hit that notification button while you're down there as well. So y'all, let's jump into these two new collections. All right, y'all. So I did get both of these at Ulta for 25 bucks each. I remember because I was like, it's a whole set. I usually don't ever buy Juvia sets. I just buy her palettes and any lippies that she comes out with and her brow products now. I love her brow products. So these come as a set with two items. Has of course her palette and this one has her eye primer in the color two. And then we do have the ice collection. This one has a palette and it has a highlighter in it. So the top guys, they do have the new Juvia's palette. It does have a beautiful lady with a nice collar and a cute thing all up in her hair, red lipstick, red eye. And then we do have the eye primer to match. This is more red and teal vibe as you can tell. So in the same packaging, this says this glorious six pan palette features highly pigmented shades, perfect for day or night looks. Very cute. And then of course we do have the eye primer. In my other previous multiple makeup videos, I do use the color two eye primer in Juvia's Place. This packaging is cute again, displays the color right in the middle, has that orange to teal ombre situation. You already know about her. And then of course the palette y'all. Y'all, this has a beautiful teal to red with gold shifts. It does have a beautiful lady in the middle. And y'all, Juvia, I feel like Juvia is listening. So at the top it does say, I live, I love. And then of course we have six beautiful shades and they are the round bigger pan. So very, very cute. So with the ice one, y'all, it does have its palette right here. This whole color scheme is literally like, I wanna say icy powder blue with a deeper mid-tone blue. It's very, very pretty. And it does have, of course, the palette and the highlighter in there. So in here we do get a ice loose highlighter. So this is in the traditional packaging inside of the Juvia's loose highlighters. I wish they would have made this blue. Anyways, but yeah, it has the red and gold traditional Juvia, but on the back they have the sticker with the ice collection logo and everything on there. And the ice palette, y'all. This is a really, really cool one. Just like before, guys, it has that powder blue, has that nice mid-tone blue. I live, I love, and ice, and she's right in the center. We have another mirror. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so glad for the mirror. I felt like this was a little heavier. I was like, mm. but very good with the mirror. And then we have these six beautiful shades in here. Again, we have a pressed glitter. We do have our two shimmers in this one, two mattes, and then we have a spotted shimmer. It's really, really interesting. But that is all for all the packaging, y'all. I just wanted to get into a little bit because this is kind of a new design, especially with her mirrors added. Finally, some mirrors. But guys, if you want to see this palette battle, see which one is the winner in the whole tutorial altogether, just stay tuned.
right, y'all. Hope you enjoyed the palette battle, including all the tutorials, all the demo, because we tried on some things today. So let's jump back into these collections. So with the I Live I Love I Kit, y'all, the primer, we know her, we love her. She's been here with us before. I have it still stashed up on my vanity there. Very, very good primer, concealer situation for me at times, but I've had it before. I wish they would actually came out with something that is not colored at all, or just a totally different vibe to it. That would have been really cool to have it in a set. I want to say right now, I don't like that they're in a set. I love her palettes. You guys know on this channel, I collect Juvia's Place palettes, specifically her palettes. I will get a lippy, I will get a brow thing, I will even buy highlighters sometimes, and I love her blushes and bronzers are amazing but I, I am obsessed with her palettes. So if she comes out with more of these sets, I'm like, please stop it, because I do not like the sets. I just, just had a disclaimer there. I just can't stand sets. Please stop. I know it's holiday, please stop. Anyways, this eye primer is just like, okay, I've had her before. It is cute, does a job, but I have it, so cute. But a good value to come in a set if you've never tried it, so. And y'all, the palette out of this collection, ugh. So the mattes perform beautifully, but they do blend in with each other, y'all. So this eye has two blues on there, like a teal blue, but can't really tell. They started blending in all together. And that was the only thing I did not like about these two matte teals. It was like, dang it. But the red matte pops. I already knew she was gonna pop. She's a very good fire engine red, like bright, bright red very good that red pressed glitter at the bottom of my waterline with the red matte shade it's very pretty it is staying in place i usually don't like any glitters pressed glitters but this one is staying in place and not digging my eyeball and moving around and everything so it's a pretty the reds did well the reds did well in this palette y'all and then my best and favorite is the two in the center these two are so buttery smooth like this, I guess, is supposed to be a shimmer, but it's like that duochrome, like, silk putty feel, almost. This shade right here is my favorite. I feel like you can throw that all over the lid, bare lid, and it's just going to sparkle so pretty. I feel like that brought out and broke up the eye instead of it being a straight blue eye. It literally broke it up with that sparkle. I love this freaking sparkle so much. It's so pretty. It's, like, skin-like. It just... See, like that? It's, like, right here. It's just so, like wet it's like a wet look it's so so good overall like, this palette was cute i wish the teal mattes actually did different from each other and like really really do it because they just blend it all the way into my eye but these shimmers in this especially the two in the center are fantastic so i'm like put a little mirror in there girl and i'm glad she listened and so guys the next collection of course is the ice collection now y'all this highlighter she is popping look at that cheek uh -oh. i've had this before again like the primer You've never tried the loose highlighters, y'all. You'll love it. Very pigmented. All you need is a little bit. This will last you 10,000 years. Self-explanatory, you know? I do love the loose highlighters of hers. They are very nice, very blinding, very you know, wet, glossy, pretty look. Looking like a beautiful glazed donut. It's not nothing, anything like, oh my God, this is the best. It's really not. So that's why I feel like, okay, this is cute. Had before. But like I said, this wasn't the winner out of the collection. You get a lot of your money's worth, even when you buy it by itself or in this set. And this will last you, like I said, 10 million years. So, not bad. The palette, the ice palette, y'all. I love this palette. I love her. I love her. This is such an amazing palette. Again, you know about the mirror. Yes, ma'am. This does give you two mattes. It's kind of like a lilac, like a powdered lilac. It's so pretty. And then we do have the two shimmers in the center. We have a spotted shimmer shadow. Uh -huh. Then we have a pressed glitter. Now, I did use a press glitter on the bottom of my waterline. I don't like this press glitter, but I like the red one. Shocking, because usually the reds and greens, I'm like, mm -mm. especially Christmas, I was like, too much. But this one, I really didn't care for too much. It was, it was definitely chunky, and I felt it. The two shimmers in the middle, very cute. I wish this was silky like the first one, but they're really not. Well, this blue one kind of is, but it's okay. It's not as good as the shimmers in the I Live, I Love palette. The two mattes, this one was very cute. She did pop. But this one is fantastic. I do not have a shade like that in any palette of mine. Even her previous palettes, I've never seen the shade. It is a very beautiful pastel color for us girls that are melanized. It showed up right on my skin. I even blended it back into it. It's so, so beautiful. And last but not least is the Spotted Shimmer. Y'all, I love Spotted Shimmer 
colors they're very silky they can transfer to like this is blue a little gray silver in there a little white it can grab from anything and i love that and then you mix it together it has its own color i love spotted eyeshadow i love it i love this palette so much y'all it's such a great unique palette i don't know how many times i can say i love this palette so much oh so who's the winner out of the two You guys already know it's the ice one you already know what it is this one was so good so unique y'all she is the winner hands down if she keeps using those light lilac pastel colors and palettes i'm gonna scream so i'm gonna sit there and just scream and put on the shot ah, just do that i wish it was sold separately like i said y'all the set situation is just not for me but do you get your money's worth with the two products and everything yes you do you do get everything full size of course 25 bucks, is it reasonable for this? Yes, especially including these are already 15 bucks alone. So then that means you're pretty much paying 10 bucks, but some of this stuff is already over 10 bucks. So you do save a little bit of bucks. If you're thinking of gifting this away to someone, they will definitely like it, but if they're more of a highlighter fan. If they have more of a cool tone to them. They're probably gonna like the ice collection period, but if they have more of a warmer tone, they're probably gonna like the I live, I love kit better one thing i did notice too guys is that this highlighter is more golden compared to this palette that is more cold and wintry i think the contrast of those colors is not too well it's a very goldy neutral shade i just don't like to have sets i can't stand them because usually they have a product or products in there that i would never wear or it just was a dud when we have a palette it's one thing that's a dud compared to 15 things or four or six things are a dud so like I said, these were really, really fun. I'm so glad she finally put mirrors in, y'all. I cannot stop talking about that as well. I, like I said, overall, both of these collections were very, very good. Of course, these shadows are pigmented as hell. We already know this. Well, guys, I thank you for watching me, which is Nelly Doing Things. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, which is Nelly Doing Things. And as well, guys, don't forget to leave a comment below. I would like to know in the comment section, y'all, is it the I Live Love one or the Ice one? Which one is the winner for you? Let me know in the comments below. And on top of that, guys, don't forget to hit that notification button before you go. You guys already know what I'm about to say. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one.